Suppose we have these four points, P1, P2, P3, and P4. With cubic interpolation, we want to create a set of curved lines passing through the points, in order to interpolate between each pair of points, that is, creating or inserting new points between each pair of points. In mathematics, this set of curved lines is called spline, and is constructed piecewise. Which means that first we create this piece, then this piece, and then this piece. Each piece of the spline, is created using a third-degree polynomial function like this. And its derivative. Now, we have to find out the values of A, B, C and D. It's important to say, that each polynomial function, is defined on the interval that goes from 0 to 1, with 0 and 1 being the starting and ending points respectively of the interpolation. Knowing this, if we set x equal to 0 on the one hand, and x equal to 1 on the other, this is what we'll get. With these four equations, a system of equations can be created, to solve for A, B, C and D. And this is the result. Now what we will do, is build the spline piecewise, using this third degree function. For example, let's focus on the second chunk, between P2 and P3 f of 0 and f of 1, are the starting and ending points of the interval, in this case p2 and p3 respectively. To get the derivative at p2, a good choice is to use the slope of the line between the previous and the next point, which are p1 and p3 in this case. We do the same with P3, using P2 and P4. If we substitute these values in the equations above, this is the result. Now we can interpolate between P2 and P3, in the interval from 0 to 1. This is an example. x equal to, 0 0.125, 0.25, 0 0.375, 0 0.5, 0 0.625, 0 0.75 and 0 0.875. We add 1 to the x coordinate, because that's the starting point of this piece of the spline. If we don't, everything starts at 0. We do the same procedure with the other two pieces, the one that goes from the points P1 to P2 and last one that goes from the points P3 to P4. As we saw earlier, to obtain the derivative of a point, each point must have a previous point and a following point. But, as we can see, P1 doesn't have a previous point, and P4 doesn't have a following point. The solution is to imagine an extra point at each end of the data. One option is to repeat the first and the last point. Another way, is to imagine that the point is the end of the line formed by the last two points. In this way. Resampling a dataset, 
means creating a new version of the data with fewer or more elements. For example, suppose I want to resample these five points as eight points. What we do, is simply change the step size to five eighths. But, we want the new points to be aligned with the old ones. To do this, we make a small variation. This is how some image editors, distribute the position of pixels when resampling images. With bicubic interpolation, we first interpolate the rows and then the resulting columns, or vice versa, using cubic interpolation. For example, we want to resample this 3x3 image to a 5x4 image. Resample each row to have 5 items, and then resample each column to have 4 items. To illustrate this procedure, let's take the 10th row of this image and plot the pixels. As we saw at the beginning of the video, to interpolate a set of points, we construct a spline that passes through each point, using a third degree polynomial function. And we do it piecewise, using four points for each piece. With resampling, we do the same, but with a small variation. We append an extra piece at each end of the spline. Replicating not one, but two points, at each end of the data. This is because when upscaling the image, there will be negative indices on the spline. To see this, let's double the number of pixels. This is what we get. The first index is minus 0.25, and the last one is out of bounds at 11.25, as the original row goes from 0 to 11. We double the number of pixels in each row of the image. And this is the result. Now we do the same with each column, from top to bottom. And this is the resulting image, resampled with bicubic interpolation. <laughs>